Whatever you say into my ears, my hand will bring to pass. But do you know the problem? Why we don't believe this? We want to give God time not to bring it to pass. In His time, the method is beautiful. When you tell Him what you want, wait patiently, He will bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. Because it's like a seed. You sow corn. You come the next day, you water it. The next day, is that not right? Until when it starts bringing out, that's the way we have got it. It's a seed. Still hold on because I want to do and show another thing. Now, let's go to Luke. Luke chapter 3, 21 to 22. Another thing happened there. Yeah, Luke chapter 3, 21 to 22. Yep. Now, when all the people were baptized, yep. yes, it came to pass. It came to pass. That Jesus also went baptized. You okay? And praying for the yes. heaven was opened. Heaven was opened. Yes. And the Holy Ghost descended in the body. Of okay. Into the wilderness, he was only with the devil. 
Can I make a statement? Jesus, this is Joseph. But I pray you get to that level because Jesus and the Father, they are one. The Spirit is like our wives, men. Listen. If you marry a genuine woman, if you marry truly a woman that really loves you and really wants your success, the first thing the woman will do to you is to take you to wilderness in your marriage. You see, but we don't understand it. Merely a woman comes into your house. And she feels relaxed. The next thing what you used to know that she's relaxed, she will open up her weaknesses. A wise man will know is good. I tackle it now, know how to handle her, know how to work with her this early time. But the foolish ones will start fighting her. They was it what I married? Was it what I married? A woman is trying to be conspicuous, is trying to be plain to you. She didn't do that when she was outside, but now she knows you are his son. Please, for you to know who I am. You know, some wise men, sometimes it took them like 10 years to be able to manage their wives. But let me tell you, don't look at the negative. They came with greater blessing than the negative. Understand her. Walk out how to because there's nothing impossible with God. What things are possible. you can manage her weaknesses and turn it for good. Let me tell you, women are strength because what you sow is what you receive. If you give them love, they will give you everlasting life. If you give them hatred, they will kill you. I'm preaching and he's on the net, they will kill you. They'll finish. Because any pastor is having fornication with the church, eating church money, messing up the church, they go claim them, they wear big badge, they wear big collar, they can't even pray for one day. Don't you know it's they are satanic? Most of pastors. There's no bad woman. There's a bad woman is Christ. Moreover, you made the church. So be careful because your church will either bring God in or remove God from your marriage. But if they come in, the first thing they will do, look at who I am. I'm not free in your house. That was exactly what Holy Ghost did to Jesus. Immediately he said, come. If you don't win the other side, if you don't pray the price of wisdom, you will not enjoy your wisdom. First of all, settle this weakness. Settle this battle. Am I making sense, God? In life, if you want to succeed, forget about the good side. Because who is most happy? The price, P R I C E. And the price, P R I Z E. You pay the price, then you pay the price. Are you remember this? So, Holy Ghost will first of all lead you into the price, P R I C E. So that when you have the price, P R I Z E. The Bible said the blessings of the Lord have no soul. Come up from yourself so that you will enjoy it more. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> One more scripture, if you can read it for me very fast. Um, my wife will help you. Okay. Okay. Let's forget about that. Let me rush and tell us how we can keep the Holy Ghost active and powerful so that He will lead us. Remember what the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 11. It says, If the same Spirit that was in Christ Jesus be in you, he will do what? He will quicken your mortal body. If there's anything dead, he will bring it to life. But he will not bring it to life until you speak to it. For you shall burn. Whatever you burn on earth shall be burned in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be losing. You will be the one that will speak the word, give it the word. The Holy Ghost will carry it, transfer it, and give it to you as the enforcer of the world. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 17 to 21. We are not going to read it, but that's where the key is to make the Holy Ghost happy. 
17 says, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. You understand? 18. Then 19 now says, speaking to yourself in Psalms, don't wait until you hear or you preach. Learn how to sing songs. Karama, shikma, yes. Encourage yourself. The second one is what? Even thanks. Live a life of thanksgiving. Every day of your life. Don't allow anything to take away thanksgiving from your mouth. And what's the last one? Submit. Example of submission is talking about look for a church that is genuine. Get committed to it. So that when you are down, it will encourage you. Praise the Lord. When you are discouraged, you will come and be encouraged. Church, I'm making sense. And with this, what happens? The Holy Ghost, and he used the word, submission of a wife in the splendor. But the woman will only submit to a man that loves him. I know that people look for the Bible where God says the woman should also love. Please, check Jesus and check the church. He loved the wife and he died. And he's still prophesying and coming back for a woman without spot or record. I don't know what that makes sense. He died. He knows what is happening. He knows who in pastors are abusing the church. But yet he said, I'm coming back for a clean church that has not been messed up. Praise the Lord. Church, with this, <laughs> I want to end the third priority of life, which is Holy Spirit. Next week, we are going on with prosperity, which is the fourth one. Praise the Lord. Can we get our heads bowed as we pray? My brother, listen to me. You shall be filled in your life from the crown of your head to the soul of your feet with the Holy Spirit.